Hi guys, Miles here from Miles Better Golf and the teaching profession at Southwark Park Golf Club. I just thought this week we'd probably start to uh, change it a little bit because the um, our return is in sight. I'm pretty confident at least sometime in March we'll be back playing golf again. So you've probably had uh, well, three months of no golf and maybe not much exercise. So maybe it's time to consider doing some exercise and doing some flexibility in readiness for our return to golf. So a few things that we can do, uh, and one of the most important things will be to try and strengthen these core muscles, because that is that stability part of your golf swing, the generator of power, but also maybe if you do some of these um, exercises, you might just protect your spine and back a little bit more from injury as well. So I'm gonna go through a few little basic things, but first off, um, just a very simple thing that you probably do anyway on the first tee, I'm just gonna grab this golf club. So one of the things of, uh, <clears throat> flexibility and distance is 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 a good shoulder turn um, so we just do a tiny bit with the upper body before we just try and concentrate on a few core exercises so just grab your golf club probably a driver's better because it's longer but I've got my seven iron here and just cross it across your chest now what you want to start to do and do this gently really to start off with and we get the butt of the club and see if we can just turn it down to five o'clock so you can start to do that a few times and let's just go a bit further now and go to six so that's the butt of the club pointing down at the floor, in your position, in your ready to hit position, in your posture position. And then see if we just start to creep it a little bit further. So remember that's the seven o'clock. And that will start to increase your power as well. The biggest hitters show their back to the target. And that's one of those things where a good shoulder turn will help you. So it's a little first tee thing really, but won't hurt to start to do a little bit more of that. Now let me just show you a few simple core exercises that you can all do. And I'll show you a couple of variants to make it easier for you. Okay, nice easy one to start, and that's a squat. It's a great uh, simple exercise for your core and your derriere. So there is a little bit of form involved in this. You don't want to just suddenly start to just squat down a little bit. One of the things that I'll say to you is try and keep your knees back behind your toes a little bit, and that will mean you get this nice big sort of deep squat. Keep your hands out in front of you because it'll help with your balance a little bit. And it's an exercise you want to hold and repeat, okay? maybe just two or three seconds, you'll start to feel the burn a little bit in your thigh, up here in your upper core, and back up again. So a nice simple squat, but something you could probably do, do a minute of squats. Sitting and holding, up again, keep your form nice straight back as you come back up again. All right, like all, a lot of these exercises, the tilting forward is the bit that's not so good for your back. You know, you will quite often hurt your back on that you know, pulling the shopping out of the cupboard when you're too full. So use your legs, use your core, sit back a little bit. Knees behind the feet. Okay. Okay, so the plank is one of the greatest exercises out there because it works so many parts of your body. Um, probably better than any other calisthenic exercise where you don't use any sort of weight or load. Something that you can easily do and, and, and you can build up to. So I'm just gonna show you, a, if you've never done it before, and if you're maybe a little bit older, you could definitely start off doing a plank on your knees. So basically what you're going to do is going to get yourself onto your elbows flush onto the ground. Don't put your hands together because you want to try and get that parallel part to your arms. If you do it just on your knees to start off with, nice straight back, keep your chin up a little bit. You'll feel yourself having to squeeze all parts of your body to try and maintain that position. Okay, so I wouldn't do that for more than, build, just build up, get up to a minute, okay? Let me show you a proper plank, and that's probably the place we should all try and head to to do it properly. So, put yourself on the ground, and the first thing you want to do is squeeze your thighs and your bums to lift your feet up a little bit, and then push yourself up. You'll probably find almost instantly your body starts shaking, and that's because you're having to use every muscle just to keep yourself in that position. Okay, build up. Don't feel like, if, God, if five seconds really hurts, fine. Do five seconds, then do another five. You know, even that five second where you'll feel yourself really having to sort of, uh, you know, hold in position there. You can even hear my voice shaking a little bit where I'm having to hold my plank position. Okay, you can go on one further because it does different sections of your, your abs and stuff, which is a side plank. So the, the elbow goes, and the forearm goes flat on the floor underneath your shoulder, and the same thing happens really. So what you'll find with this is, 
Okay, you can even do that just to get your balance right. You can do that on both sides. You'll feel that really pulling down here a little bit. Okay. Okay, final one, and a little bit of a, a variation on what we just done, but another great balance exercise as well as helping out. So balance is obviously one of the key parts to your golf swing. So similar to a plank, but just get on your knees and on your palms. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna raise our opposite. So we're gonna raise our right leg and our left arm to start off with, and you'll see balance. We can hold it for a few seconds. Come back down and swap again. You'll feel yourself having to sort of um, maybe concentrate a tiny bit on your balance just to hold it in position. But another really good core and balance exercise that we can all do. You know, I'd probably advise most golfers to consider Pilates or yoga. Um, it, it's only something that can only enhance your golf and flexibility. Okay, I hope you all find maybe just a few minutes to try that. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Uh, but I promise you, in in readiness for our return to golf, you will be maybe a little fitter and stronger and ready to go.